So I have watched three episodes of Devil's Line so far, and surprisingly, it is pretty good. And I really like it so far, and I am very excited to watch to watch more episodes of it. And if I were to describe this anime, I would say it is either toy-like anime located in Japan, or this is Tokyo Ghoul, but for girls. Just imagine, to imagine Tokyo Ghoul, but it, it is focusing more on the romance aspect between the male vampire protagonist and the female human protagonist. Though, though technically the male protagonist is a half vampire, but that, that is a detail in the anime that you should watch for yourself. So it's a, it, it is a, like a psychological supernatural uh, drama. With, with uh, romance, uh, rom, uh, romance drama, and it, it is it focusing it, it is focused more on the relationship between the two characters I mentioned, but at the same time it does not forget the the setting it sets up, as in the 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 existence of vampire of vampires or in this anime it is called they are called on oni or devils, and how they are. The conflict between them and normal human in a modern, modern city setting. So what I like about it so far is that how the how the there there are multiple things what I like about this anime so far. First is that the two characters they developed so far it it feels like it was written by a young adult novel author you know like Hunger Games Maze Runner and Twilight. It really feels like it was written by this kind of author, you know, uh, the female character, the female uh, protagonist, is saved by a uh, edgy, edgy male vampires. This this edgy male this edgy male vampire character, and then the began the 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 relationship began to develop, but I felt like so far it was done quite tastefully, and quite believably because. I don't want to touch. I want. I don't want to talk about the spoilers too much. But it has. It has. Uh, involved the the male vampire, the the protagonist, the male protagonist, sense of responsibility, and at the same time, his how should I say this? Bloodless. Yes. It. It. it, it this anime is definitely for the mature. For the more mature side of the audience because it really expli explicitly involved about sex and relationship between uh, uh, vampires and human and and then the female characters is just uh, someone who is quite naive but her involvement with the vampires are pretty believable and it is if it, it, it also feels like another case of falling in love at first sight, or something like the the fem uh, the female protagonist feels like uh, when he was saved by the male character, male protagonist, she is indebted to him, but and then began to fall in love with him. What while uh, while falling in love at first sight feels like a cheap cheap uh, story element, but in this anime, three episodes so far, it was done pretty tastefully, and to the point that. Uh, I am cu curious to know how will their uh, relationship develop. What I want to what I want to also mention that the dialogues between these two characters feels realistic, feels like na feels natural, and unlike dialogues are something that I see that people don't really talk about when they mention about anime. Sometimes uh, dialogues are bland, direct, and lack subtlety or expressions, or or it doesn't really reflect. What the writer wants to, wants the character wants wants the characters to show their personality about. Basically, what I'm saying there is an there is an art on writing dialogues, and then this uh this complexity is magnified by how you make the voice actor deliver the dialogues, and which I think the voice acting in this anime is really good because they they really nail the gritty realism. I mean, I feel I feel like the dialogue feels very uh, realistic compared to your standard anime. 
if it's natural, I mean, and which makes the development of the characters feels much more believable. What I also like about this anime is how it depicts the vampires. Instead of the the, the vampires in this anime is your know, is typically is typical. They are strong, much stronger than normal human, and then they really what likes to suck blood. They are aroused by blood. But this three, after three episodes, I really like the depiction of the vampires in in this one aspect. They are struggling. Struggling is a is a word that is a word I will describe describe them. Because in this this three episodes has a shot three different vampires, not including the male protagonist. And each of them showed that they are struggling with their bloodlust, that their instinct. Their instinct to, when they are exposed to blood, they want to suck and kill people. They are struggling. They they when they are struggling, they look pathetic. They look so pitiable. But at the same time, they also committed a crime. But at the same time, also in multiple occasions, these vampires regretted their actions, which is a much more nuanced and much more deep and complex. Then your usual vampires are strong and evil and bad, something like that. In the first episode, in all these three episodes, the vampires were put in a position that makes them uh, looks very struggle. And even though in in two of these occasions they definitely committed a crime, they killed people. But how they, how this anime depicts their struggle with their bloodlust and how they how how hard it is it is for them to control their urges and instinct it makes them look very pitiable it, it, it is very it, it makes them look like looks like a tragic tragic uh uh people like they are also victims i mean like of course they they also committed a crime and they they, they are properly uh, arrested and punished for it but the anime, I'm, I'm, why am I repeating this again? Okay, basically, I'm saying that I, I love the depiction of the vampires so far. They are not just evil, evil uh, race, e evil people. And then the, this, this struggles also affected the male protagonist in that because he is a vamp half a vampire, he also has this bloodlust and urges. And the anime explicitly, explicitly mentions that. This urges not just wants to kill, but also wants to have sex. They are, it also connects to, connected to their libido. So this is this made the comp the relationship between the male vampire the male vampire protagonist and the female human protagonist much more complicated. At the same time, you feel uh, if it really feels like a young a young adult novel because the female character is uh, cute and naive, and they have the uh being the, the uh she is involved with this edgy male vampires but i really like i really like the chemistry between them so far so uh the art style itself is not really that spectacular there's really nothing special about the art style i don't really know anything especially notable about the music but the setting itself is like your typical something like a Tokyo setting, uh, a, sit a city urban setting. There's really nothing unique about the the place the uh, the uh, story is located in. But the the unique concept, the the character development and character relationship, the dialogues and the setting, is good enough that makes me excited to watch this, to watch more episodes of it. I want to know more what will happen next because in. In the last episode, in the third episode, there's a there's a new character that I want to know what will happen next. So my conclusion is that if you want, it is it is feels it feels weird it feels weird because this really it really feels like a young young adult novel, but it feels it it, it is a good one. I don't think I don't think this kind of uh writing appeals to a lot of people but to me even though i don't really watch lots of, a lot of this kind of genre but this anime managed this anime managed to 
manage to interest me. Anyways, thanks for listening. Good night.